I first took a course, a PhD course, about quantitative risk management because I was really interested in these quantitative tools to apply to the finance field. And then we started working on this paper where we analyzed the correlation between stock market volumes and stock market returns, but during extreme events, namely both stock market crashes and stock market booms. The key finding of our research can be summarized in a nutshell as follows. So we analyze, on the one hand, stock market returns and on the other hand stock market volumes and we want to understand basically what their relationship during these extreme events. So most often people know very well uh, the Wall Street adage that says it takes volume to move prices. So it takes volume to move prices. However, and counterintuitively, actually we show that during extreme events most often we do not associate the largest volumes with the biggest returns in absolute value. So that's why basically the extreme correlation, what we call the extreme correlation between returns and volume is very weak and very low during extreme events and much lower actually than in normal times. We really would like to underscore that this finding is very relevant not only for academics because we are not anymore in this ivory tower for academics, but we would like really to understand what's going on in these extreme events. And this is absolutely essential also for, let us say, practitioners, regulators most importantly, but also the society as a whole. Because, of course, the recent financial crisis has shown us clearly that we need to understand more how to hedge ourselves from these extreme events, from these market crashes that have a huge impact on ourselves. For example, we link our result to Ginot and Leland, which is another paper who theoretically predicts that the asymmetric information in the stock market can lead to these extreme events even without big market movements, so even without big fluctuations of the big, say, big volumes in, this, in, in the market. So that's what I really would like to underscore. We should try to understand these extreme events and we should really try to uh, innovate in our research in such a way that the whole society can benefit from this. Of course, ESSEC is one of the most prestigious business schools in Europe and in the world, and therefore being part of ESSEC, being active part of ESSEC, and feel part of this big family is really a thing that makes me very proud of it.